Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. God bless you. When you join in, you share. When you join in, you share. When you share, you receive a blessing from the God of Sea One. Join quickly, quickly, be fast, be fast, be fast. Quickly and share. I just want to show you something. Join quickly, join quickly, quickly, quickly. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Green. One call, I say. Only command of God. Lubwant. <laughs> How are you? So, two years ago we started the construction of this city. If, if, if you can look around, you can see that this place was a, this was a, a bush, a bush area, you know. When you join, please you share. I want to show you something. So this was bush area. You can see it was so bushy. It was so bushy. You know, we came in with the plan of developing this city. This the Sierra One City. We came in with the plan and we started uh, construction in this city. As you can see, this place was bush. I'm just trying to see where I can climb and show you a better view of the area. So this place was bush, 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 bush. Uh, two years ago, we decided to come into this bush and develop it and call it the Sea One City. And. Uh, Immediately we entered this area. Immediately we entered this area. We started the development of this place. And this place is now uh, the fastest developing city. Sierra One City. It's now the fastest developing city in here, you know where. Where you must take Nigeria. So I just want to show you the CA1 Palace. Hold on, the construction of CA1 Palace is going on. Yes, yeah, somebody saying, is it raining? Yes, it's raining. This is raining season in Nigeria. So hold on, you see this for yourself. Aha. Uh, you see this? I'm taking you direct. The Sea One City. This is Sea One City. A lot of buildings are going on left and the right. But uh, the major building <coughs> in the heart of the city, which is called the Sea One's Palace, is going on. This is uh, the biggest palace. In Owere, yeah. the biggest, biggest.
So it's what I want to show you now. This is the city. This is the city. This place was bush. It was desert. It was just bush. There was no single building here. But today, maybe you can show them this side. Show them this side. Show them this side. But today you can see. Okay, let's go. You can see that. It's now massive. A plot of land. This place now is 15 million. So <coughs> we are now in the C1 Palace. This is where the construction is going on. This is where the construction is going on. That is the that is the security house there. Hmm? That is the security house there. It's under construction. That is the the guest house. Uh, that is get, guest house in Nigeria. We we'll call it a duplex. This is a royal a royal guest house. Just look at that. Look at that. Hmm? Very beautiful. Aha. Very beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. The security house there. That's the security house in the swimming pool. The swimming pool is there for the guest and the people that will live in the royal house. And then this is the palace itself. This is the palace itself. This thing is so big that <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But it's so big, it's so huge that <laughs> if I explain it, phone cannot explain it. <laughs> this is so huge that it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The, the size of this palace is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't, I just can't explain. Running 14 pillars, 14 Dubai designers pillars. Hmm? Roya. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but there is something I want to show you. Uh, I hear people say building a house in Nigeria is very, very easy. And building a house in Nigeria is. Uh, I would love to go inside to show you what is inside, but uh, let me finish first. People say building a house in Nigeria is very easy. That's why Nigerian people build a lot. But that's a lie. I want to see where I can show you something. To build a house in Nigeria is a, <laughs> it's a suicide mission. I mean, I've lived in so many countries. I know how it's easy. It is very easy to build in those countries. Now, look at this. This is the DPC. Eh? The DPC of this building. Look at it. Right? You've seen it. Now, there is 12 blocks under. 1, 2, 3. 12 under. 12 under to form the DPC from here. Because this is a palace. You don't build it like any other house. You have to build it in a standard where it's solid. As a matter of fact, presidents of different countries will be coming to this palace. So that's why we are taking time to make sure that the details are followed. Eh? Now, 
12 blocks to form the DPC, meaning the DPC alone of this um, of this building can build a normal 12 bedroom house already complete. 12 bedroom house complete. <laughs> Look at it there. So it's very expensive to build here. One bag of cement now in Nigeria is 5,000 naira. So what you are seeing here is the product of miracle money. There is nothing that the God of Sea one cannot do. Okay, one okay, place. This is another place. I want to show you. So, if I receive the presidents of different countries, this place is called a royal seat out. Eh? When a president visits Nigeria, they want to see the view of this country very well. So they sit with me here. Hmm? From here, you can have a view of the entire city, the Sea One City. You can see it. So this is for the guest, and that is the that is the the palace there. Uh -huh. That is the palace there. Huh? That's the someone say, as a garden boy, I can come the walk. <laughs> of course. That house is being constructed. I will, I will go there. That side. It's being constructed for the domestic workers. That one you are seeing there is for the domestic workers. So we plan to finish this project. We started this project uh, two months ago. <laughs> Not up to two months. We started on the 25th of May. So 25th of uh, 25th of July. We make it two months that we started. And uh, our target is to finish this before September. Before September. So that this place can be open for the public. You can come here, enjoy the view, spend a few days with CR1. Of course, you know what it means by spending days with CR1 automatically is power that you are going home with so we don't uh, talk too much we don't believe in talking too much we believe in in action we are action oriented people i would have loved to take you inside but there is a lot of job going on there i don't want to disturb disturb them mm, i don't want to disturb them so this is what is going on here let me show you the other side yeah so by the time i was developing this city there was nothing there was nothing there was nothing all this area but now look at that 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 so everywhere is well built up now Everywhere is well built up. And uh, I chose Imo State because this is where I was born. Charity begins from home. I plan to build this in Zambia as well. Build in South Africa. And also build in Namibia. I'm also planning to build this in Botswana. But I needed to start from home. Our brothers and sisters that are building in Lagos, in Abuja, I mean, let us come and develop this place. There is nothing, absolutely nothing that uh, we cannot build here in this state. Just look at that. This is currently the biggest, the biggest, biggest palace in Imo State. The biggest. 
the biggest, the, the hugest. The size of this palace is a uh, three. According to the engineer, he says this is a uh, three uh, seven bedroom bungalows put together. Seven bedroom bungalows put together. So come, let us develop this state. You know, let us develop this. Let us develop this this state. Let us develop Alibo. Okay? Let us develop Alibo. You know, it's very, very important. There is no place like home. You know, and when you when it comes to to roofing, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> When if I was roofing in uh, maybe in Zambia or South Africa, I won't spend half of what we have spent here to roof there. Because here alone, this is uh, 35 feet up the roof. 35 feet up. Look at that. 35 feet up there. Eh? So you see that is 30. This is 25. You can see that you, the money only spent on roofing. Roofing this palace is enough to build a mansion in other countries. It's far enough. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Eh? Yeah, so. <laughs> If you are a son or daughter of Siawang, I want you to know that you are blessed. Your father is so blessed, Siawang, massively. Not baby blessing, not a one naira or one quarter blessing, massive blessing. That is the blessing that will come upon your life. That is the blessing that will come upon your life. That is the blessing that will come upon your life. You will build not just a house. There is a level that you pass. You no longer build a house. You build either palace. You even pass the level of building a mansion. You build palace. That is the anointing that is coming upon your life. In the name of Jesus. That's anointing that is coming upon your life. That is the anointing that is coming upon your life. You shall build. You shall build not a house, not a mansion, but a palace. Three in one, four in one, in the name of Jesus. I speak blessing over you. So by September, by September, this palace will be open for the public. An African president that I'm not going to mention his name now will come and commission it for us and this place will be open for the public when you come when you come to this place when you visit sia one for special power for special thing this is where you'll be that is your that building there that royal building that's where you'll be eh? i will spend like three days or four days with you cook you prepare you hey you go back to your country you take over by the grace of god we are fighting september this place will be open for you you can travel you can come from anywhere you are in the world that is your place that's where you spend your time president governor member of parliament that's where you spend your time while i will be here while i will be here by the time you are leaving Nigeria, going back to your country, or by the time you are leaving Imo State, going back to your country, uh -huh. uh, even if you are the least opposition leader, you take over. You can be the president, you can be the governor, you can be anything you want to be. That's your, that's your own there. That's where you spend your... That place is built for you. That is a, a royal uh, guest house. A royal hotel where you come, you relax there, you sit, you stay with me, you spend your time in this compound with me. I open your eyes, show you the secret of power, the secret of wealth. By the time you are going back, <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't want to say. Many people know me that I don't talk. Once, once I open my mouth and speak, once I open my mouth and speak, that is how it is. Hmm? That's how it is. So that's your place there. Yeah? Why this one is mine? So when you come to visit me in Nigeria, that's where you will be. The next time I'm going to do a video will be somewhere in. Uh, September when we are done so that I can show you inside when you visit Sia one in Nigeria you'll be so comfortable five star rooms everything five star everything you'll be comfortable and by the time I'm done with you here in this palace people will know that there is power people will know that there is power so I want to say that I love you. This is what is going on here. Many of you don't see me live. You say, I ah, see one, you don't come live, you don't talk again, what, what, what. I'm busy. I have a project, a project that is, is a level of a government project. So by the time I'm done and this place is open for you, Africa we know that there is power. I want to say that I love you. Please share the video. Remember, remember that there are many people that are using my name to scam people. There are a lot, you know. There are they are in thousands now. They are using my name uh, uh, to to scam people. They are using my name to cheat people. Please don't fall a victim. Uh, of scammers i don't have representative in zambia i only have one phone number plus two three four eight zero two zero nine four three five seven six is this number that is posted here where they say do you want to have a direct chat with cr1 anything you want is it money is it power anything you want you write you write me a message there that is the only number that i have i don't have representative anywhere in the world I don't have representative even in Nigeria here. If you are not talking to me on that number, you are not talking to me. So be very, very careful so that you don't fall victim. I want to say that I love you. May God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.